<laughs> Welcome and good afternoon, Yayu Basuki. Hi, Mbak Yayu. Hello. Mbak Yayu, as a former tennis player and now a politician, I'm sure you still play tennis, you must have both perspectives on this case. What is your take on this? Especially, this involves one of the four, the four Grand Slams. Yes, uh, yes, uh, you are right. I have two different perspectives. Uh, the first of all, if being, if uh, being the tournament uh, director, for example, yes, of course, we would like to invite Djokovic to defend his title. But then, as a government side, exactly what the prime minister said: rules are rules. Because mm -hmm. because I think he he you know he concerned more to like millions of people others than compared to one as a, as a single champion, even though that is a Novak Djokovic. Right, so should the World Tennis Association step in and defend Djokovic, or do you think they should just accept the reality and comply with the local regulations? You know, all I can say, he has to accept the regulations, mm -hmm. because uh, different country, they are have their their own rules, and I have to agree with the prime minister or the Australian uh, government that you know they have to really strong with the the rules. Otherwise, if one, you know, if one can go through like uh, one of the Novak Djokovic, but then then it will also affect others players. Also, they will try to ask how come Novak Djokovic can and why not others? Uh, right. it's, it's not that possible. That is right. You know, so, yeah, so I think um, I have to agree with the government side, then uh, rules are rules, and this is to protect uh, many, a million people around the world as well, not only in Australia, but also if you came to any other country, I'm pretty sure, I mean, if you're not fascinated yet, yeah, so I have to, you have to take any, uh, all those fascinated. I mean, that's the rule for, yeah. for some of countries, yeah. Yeah, but you... I, I think it's most of the countries, mm -hmm. yeah. But Mayu, this is Hans speaking from the studio. Um, as we all know that Novak Djokovic is a popular uh, public figure, popular figure as well as uh, like other athletes and also celebrities with millions of fans around the world. Do you think Djokovic should share his reasons why he refused to get vaccinated? Because this has been an issue for people all over the world. Uh, also, uh, when, it, when it's approaching to the Grand Slam title. Exactly. I even even I have a big question to him as well. Why did he <laughs> refuse the vaccine? You know, because I mean, this is to protect us. You know, I mm -hmm. mean, I mean, this pandemic it's been. It's been a uh, really disaster for uh, the whole last two years. So I think to protect all over the world, I mean, you have to follow the rules. And I think every country, they also, they have their own, you know, like, like, like I mean, I have also have to fascinate it. Mm -hmm. and, and even though we have, you know, all, for example, the Indonesian, we all have to get fascinated. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure there's also other country. And uh, for example, this is Australia is pretty strict. Mm -hmm. For example, last year, for example, last year, there's a players who enter, they have to do quarantine for two weeks. Yeah. And every player does that. Yeah, every yeah. player does that. Yeah, and, and why uh, all of a sudden that now Novak Djokovic, you know, he refused to fascinate, but he wants it to play. Yeah, That's yeah. what, you know, and, but then also the question are, it's also from the tournament side, why they invite uh, Novak if, if they know that Novak is, it's still not fascinating. And you know. this leads to my next question. I'm sure that you uh, you are still following uh, the development of uh, the sport uh, as of tennis right now. And people are speculating if the rules, the exemption permission was actually designated to get Novak Djokovic to the tournament. Uh, is Novak Djokovic that important to the tournament, Bayayu? Yes, I'm pretty sure Novak Djokovic is very important to the tournament because he's one of the role model, you know, and 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 most of the sponsor, they they support the, mm -hmm. you know, for example, this is a Grand Slam, and they wanted uh, Djokovic to come, and he's number one in the world, and also that he uh, he can de he can defend his title, you know, so it, this is also it's about it's gonna be. It's going to be a new story for him as well that he can't defend the title because he can get into the entry <laughs> of the, uh, Australia. Yeah. 
Why are you? Before I ask you the next questions, I just want to say that I play tennis because of you. <laughs> <laughs> I play you. Yes. So I've heard so many stories about you from my grandparents. He was a uh, Bapak Sijono. He was the uh, Ketua PLT back in the day. So yes, maybe you yes, still remember. Yes. But anyway, so I, I heard. Remember. Yes. Uh, I heard that you were once invited to the Australian Open. So can you share your experience a little bit with us? Uh, well, I'm not invited, but yes, uh, because of the, my ranking um, in the past years, of course, every year I always play the Australian Open. Until even the last, uh, the last one, it was 2010, I still play uh, doubles with Kimiko Date there. Mm -hmm. Even though I was already 40, but uh, yes, uh, that time we got wild card. And uh, when during, during my, my highest uh, rank at the, at the time, uh, Yes, of course, I, every year I always play uh, Australian and I always love to play in Australia because I think one of the greatest Grand Slam ever. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so Mayayu, this actually gives us lots of uh, point of views, like different point of views from our point of view as uh, the tennis enthusiast, let alone Yanni, <laughs> yes. and um, also from the athlete's point of view and also from the politician in this case regarding Novak Djokovic. Mayayu, thank you so much. I hope you're staying healthy and also take care. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much and stay healthy too. Bye-bye. Wow, that was actually quite, um, what do you call it, uh, quite strong message from yes. um, one uh, Indonesian athlete that uh, we all are looking up to when it comes to uh, achievements in Indonesia. And also now that uh, she had another point of view from the politician's point of view, mm -hmm. right. we can see that uh, according to her, it was, it was actually uh, not only one reason, but million reasons yeah. to get Novak Djokovic uh, to the competition when it comes to sponsors apparently. Right. right. You know, these uh, exemptions, you know, ex exemptions can be a, uh, something can be very loose. Mm -hmm. It sounds like it's something that can be negotiated over mm -hmm. just different kind of uh, uh, circumstances, mm -hmm. right? So it really needs, I think the government, any government should be very, very strict in, in enforcing the laws. Mm -hmm. the rules are rules, according yes. to Scott Morrison. I agree. I agree. So just follow the rules, please, mm -hmm. whatever country you're in. <laughs> So, I'm still starstruck because uh, you know I, when I was learning tennis, I you know, right? Yayu Basuki was the champion. Right? I know. So thank you so much to you today for having her on this show today. I feel so happy. But anyways, back to Djokovic. Djokovic needed to fly into Melbourne to defend his Australian Open title amid much focus on getting the medical exemption. Now it seems, however, that the Serb may not have paid enough attention to his visa. Djokovic failed to provide appropriate evidence to meet entry requirements. His visa was subsequently cancelled and he was denied to enter Australia. So his father, Serjan Djokovic, accused the Australian authorities of holding his son captive. And also following um, this issue, uh, a former Australian rules player Kevin Bartlett tweeted the Australians have been taken for fools. And also another former player, Corey McKernan, said that people with loved ones who are dying or some needing urgent treatment cannot get into their own states. You tell people they can't go to Coles or a cafe without being fact. But mm -hmm. if you're what number one, you get a pass. So uh, before this uh, uh, denial of, 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 of a refusal of uh, Novak Djokovic's mm -hmm. uh, entry to Australia, the joke was on Australians. But now mm -hmm. uh, the table has turned. Yeah. The joke is on Djokovic's side. Now we're going for our first quick break for this hour. But when we come back, we'll again have the latest from Southeast Asia and around the world. And later during the hour, I'll again bring you the latest from the world of business. So stay with us right here on the 3-Hour News Show on C Today.